Hey, smelly booze, y'all. I'm back. Y'all, this thing here, y'all, this thing with Kobe Bryant, his daughter, the, I think the baseball, uh, I think the, the I think it was like a, a lady that was on board that was going to be a basketball coach, Kobe's daughter, Kobe's daughter's friend was up there, a baseball coach, and his family was up there on this helicopter and it crashed i think sunday morning y'all this hit hard it's not just that he was celeb he was a celebrity kobe bryant and and i just i'm praying for all the families that were affected by this tragedy um on this helicopter crashing i mean it's just horrific you know what i'm saying just to lose a loved one in period in the public and i know the pain i don't know i don't know the pain of the families the family members that are left but i can't imagine the hurt the pain that they're going through but i pray that whatever pain that they're going through and hard they got easy a little bit that god is seeing his comfort his comfort and angels sending send them down to each one of the families and just give them that peace that passes all understanding. Because we don't know why things happen. We don't um we don't know why he he you know he does things, why things happen. But it's for a reason, you know what I'm saying? It's for a purpose. And our ways are not God's ways. Our, our thoughts are not his. So I don't know what's you know, this world, y'all, I just don't know. With this stuff that's going on today, I just don't know. But it made me appreciate my family even the more. It made me appreciate my extended family. It, although we don't talk all the time, we don't talk on the phone all the time, although we don't see each other all the time, but I love my family. I love each and every one of my extended family. I love everybody. I love all my family members. From the bottom of my heart, I do. Anything I can to help them, I would do. It, even though we have our little spats, we have our little disagreements, we have our falling outs, you know, you know, different personalities clash sometimes. Cause we all, most of us, <laughs> most of us is outspoken. We speak our mind. We up front, but it doesn't stop me from loving nobody. It doesn't stop me from caring about my family members it don't stop me from trying to do our, the best i can towards it towards my family you know what i'm saying and it just it just made me appreciate life like even at work when, when i go through things at work when stuff ain't going quite right when you know you have to deal with certain situations i'm just happy to be there in the midst i'm happy to be alive i'm happy to say that I woke up this morning with activities on my limbs, with breath in my body. I'm able to speak to my coworkers, ask them how their day went, ask them how they doing. I'm just glad to just walk through the hallways at my job, just being able to, you know what I'm saying? Because somebody didn't wake up this morning. Somebody's crying. Somebody's in pain. Somebody's in a depression state. Somebody, somebody heart stopped last night and didn't wake up to see a brand new morning or a brand new day. So I'm grateful and I'm thankful to God that I was able to wake up this morning. I was able to go to my job, put my clothes on. I was able to put my shoes. I was able to just walk out the door to, to my car and go to my job safely and, and, and sound peace. And, and you know what I'm saying? Safely. The angels covered me. Even on even every day, you know how like people be rushing you and behind riding your the, your back of your car and driving all crazy, getting over in your lane, and sometimes cars be in your blind spot and you don't see that person over to your right or your left because they in your blind spot. 
God be protecting us, y'all. It's the protection. We have to pray every morning to cover our children, cover our babies as they go to and fro to school, even in school, while they're in school, that no harm come to them in that schoolhouse to protect them from bullets, to protect them from kids that are going through depression, that bring weapons to school. We have to pray. We have to pray for the minds of the teachers to give them that premonition, to give them that discernment when something ain't quite right to protect the children. We have to, y'all. We have to pray. Even though they be trying to take prayer away, they try to steal away from God and keep God out of things. Well, we have to include him in all things, y'all. We have to include him in our decision making. We have to include him early in the morning when before we go to work. When before we lay down, we have to spend time with him, at least 15, 30 minutes to an hour with him. You know, because we spend half our day watching YouTube, watching TV, or, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> talking on the phone with our friends. We have to spend time with him because he's a jealous guy. We, even if you don't go to church on Sundays, at least spend a little time with him on Sundays, at least an hour watching T.D. Jakes or watching uh joe Olstein, i think his name is or watching my lady i forget her name what is her name she always, she writes books she has like a country accent just whoever you entwine again who even td 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 jace's daughters whoever you click with whoever your spirit connects with get in touch with that part of you to want to learn more about God, to want to learn more to the word, to want to get that better, closer relationship with God. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody's relationship is different. Everybody's relationship with God is different. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's walk is different. So if you talk to God like this, like we're talking here, or if you talk to God in prayer, or you just, you know what I'm saying? If you uh talk to God in a small, still, in a quiet voice, and you speak to him as you're, you know, going through your daily occupation or going through your daily walk, whatever you're doing, that's how you communicate with God. It don't even matter as long as you're communicating with the Father, the one who created us, the one who knows us in and out. And you know what I'm saying? Once we work on ourselves, y'all, we can be better people. We can treat people right. We treat our brothers. So we know how to act. We we'll know how to act with our brothers and sisters. We know how to work with them. We know how to deal with our brothers and sisters. We know how to coincide with somebody who don't like you. Or that your spirits don't mesh well. You know how to, uh, you know, govern yourself. You know how to uh, be respectful. Or you know how to do the best you can. You know what I'm saying? You know how to conduct yourself in a manner. But y'all, man, this, it just was something. It just was. It was an eye opener. Maybe it was a. It should. Maybe it was an eye opener for the celebrities too. That maybe think they're un, invincible. But when God calls your name, when your name is called off the road, it don't even matter where you're at. It don't matter how much money you got. It don't matter how big your house is. It don't matter how big your car is. What names you got? What kind of name brand cars you got? What you know what I'm saying? It don't even matter, but when your name is called, you got to answer. When my name is called, I got to answer. No matter where I'm at, no matter what I'm doing, no matter what I have, I have to answer to the call. Because we're going to have to leave these earthly bodies one day, y'all. We're going to have to go up into the clouds. We're going to have to meet our maker in the air when that trumpet sounds. Because we're going we're gonna to be sleep. The dead in Christ shall rise. The ones that's sleeping. The one that's waiting on that getting up morning. The ones that's waiting on the trumpet. We all going to get up in the air and meet them. So don't be not ready. Don't have your business unfixed. Unfinished. Everybody has a purpose. Everybody has a mission. Everybody has an assignment. That is laid on your hands. You have to fulfill your assignment. You have to do what God tells you to do. You have to fulfill your mission. Because if you don't fulfill your mission, your assignment that is laid to you, 
The blood's going to be required to you if you don't go out and tell people about the goodness of God and tell them how good it is, how good he is and what he's done for you. How he makes a way out of no way. How he turns your, your darkness into day. How he multiplies your food in your cupboard. How he pays your bills, help you pay your bills when your bills do. How he brings money into your house where you don't even know where it's coming from, but he supplies you every need. He may not fulfill everything that you want, but he does supply you every need. You don't go for nothing. You don't, you don't go lacking. The righteous, I ain't never seen the righteous beg. I, ain't, I have not ever seen the righteous beg for nothing. I've never seen, if you do right, if you do right, God will put it right in your hands. He'll give you what you desire. He'll give, give you what you're in need of. If you just, if you just walk with him, talk with him, sit with him, give him time. Give him his due time. You know what I'm saying? No, we, we don't do, he know, y'all, he know we ain't perfect. We slack off. We forget. We don't pray like we should sometimes. We don't read our word like we supposed to sometimes. We don't go to church as often as we should. We don't go to Bible study like we should. But he knows the heart. He knows your heart. He understands. He, he wants us to do better. But we got to want to do better. We have to want to go that extra mile. We want to... We want to be like an example to others. But we know we are working in progress. All of us, we know he knows we are working in progress. He already know that. Man might not see it that way. They hold us, hold everything against you. But God knows that you are working in progress. And you don't mean no harm. But y'all, y'all stay encouraged. Y'all stay blessed. Y'all keep Keep God in the center of everything. Don't give up the fight. Don't give up the willpower. When it get rough, when it get tough, call on God. He will answer. Call on him in your darkest hour, in the wee night when you're weeping, when you're crying, when you're wondering how you're going to do this and how you're going to do, how you're going to pay your bills, how you're going to feed your family, how you going how how you going to get a new job and nobody's calling you and you want a new job and you desire you hate the job that you're at you're depressed you're angry call on god he'll make a way out of no way call on god he'll open that door for you but you got to put in work you got to want to you got to want to do better you got to want to get that job that you desire you got to want to get out of the place that you're in you got to want to do better you know what i'm saying you got to want to leave those old friends that ain't about nothing you got to want to to lead those friends that's weighing you down. They don't mean you know all they're doing is taking from you. They're not adding nothing to you. They're just taking. You know when a, a friendship is genuine, when a friendship is real, when a friendship is built on something great, when they're adding to you, they're feeding your spirit, man. They're, they're helping you. When they're helping your spirit, when they're, when they're entwined with your spirit, they're on the right track. They're on the same track as you. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're trying to do right. They're trying to strive for greatness. They're trying to um, hold on tight to God's unchanging hands. They're trying to get that spiritual walk on and trying to do right. They won't try to steal you to do wrong. They won't connive and try to use you. They won't uh, go telling your business sell the suit. They're trying to encourage your heart. Encourage your spirit, encourage your mind to be there for you when you need it the most. When you need some prayer, when you need somebody just to be in confirmation, we be in agreement with you, to pray with you so this situation can subside, so the situation can leave you, you know, to go with you where you can't even go yourself to first. Maybe they got the strength. To go further than what you can. Maybe they got the strength to pray, to get that sword to pray your way out of to help you pray your way out of this situation. Cause they got enough. They got you, you are you are already, you done gave all you can gave, give. 
you done gave up. Maybe they, maybe they can pick you back up and help you pray your way through and give you that added on strength. Because we, we are helpers of one another. Because when one is weak, the other, we got to be strong. We, that's why we got that word. We got to stand firm in that word because we can't wave. All, all of us can't be down and out, y'all. All of us can't be laying on the floor crying. All of us can't be down and out. All of us can't give up the fight and say, I'm defeated. All of us can't be in that dark place and be crying every day. No. Somebody got to be strong. Somebody got to say, uh-uh. I'm going I'm going to pick up. I'm going to get up. I want cuz God been too good to me. Uh, cuz I might have this situation. I might have uh health problems. I might have to take medicine about 7 to 8 medicines a day. I might have to walk with a cane. I might have to take insulin for the rest of my life. But to God be the glory, I'm here. I'm alive still. To God be the Lord, I can use my mouth to talk. To speak the goodness of the of God, to speak the miracles that He's performed in my life, to tell my testimony. I'm still here. I'm a living testimony. And if I can't say one word, I'll just wave my hand. Y'all know the song. If I can't say one word, I'll just wave my hand. Y'all know it. If you can't say one word, one word, he understands. He understands you. So don't worry. Don't you fret, y'all. Because God going to make a way out of no way. Y'all stay blessed. Y'all stay encouraged. My prayer to you guys on tonight is to stay uplifted. Don't give up. Don't give in. And grab a hold of somebody. Or attach yourself to somebody that's strong. So both of y'all can build one another up. To hold each other accountable. To get further in Christ that you need to be. To get further in your word for yourself. To feed your, your, your soul. To feed that spirit man. Because the spirit man sometimes get tired too. They get tired and weary. But that word on the inside will pep you up. Give you that, give you that pep. You know what I'm saying? Give you that pep. You can run on a little bit further. You can stay in the race. Y'all stay in the race. God bless y'all. God bless y'all. I pray. I pray that this week be blessed beyond measure for you. That you find a blessing somewhere. That somebody speaks a blessing to your life. That somebody blesses you this week. Or you be a blessing to somebody else. Bye, y'all. Smooches, y'all. I love y'all. Y'all know Smiley Boo love y'all. Thank y'all so much for supporting me. I appreciate the love. I appreciate y'all just commenting and coming to my channel and just sh showing love towards me. I appreciate that so much, y'all. Y'all don't know what it means to me. Cause, cause I was, y'all, y'all know sometimes, y'all, I was getting kind of scarce on this video, y'all. I'm about to get, I'm about to give it up. But y'all push me to be a better me, to push, to give out this inspiring word to be inspirational. <laughs> Because somebody out there needs it. Maybe somebody my age. Maybe somebody older. Or maybe somebody that's younger than me. To inspire. To be an inspiration to others. Because sometimes I get down. Sometimes I have to look at my own videos. And inspire my own self. To pick my own self back up. But anyway y'all. Y'all be blessed. Y'all keep me in your prayers y'all. Much love. Smiley boo is out. Bye y'all.